In this video we're going to look at indices and negative indices. So for instance, if you've got any number to the power of minus n, that's the same as 1 divided by a to the m. Okay. So for instance, if you had 5 to the power of minus 2, that would be the same as 1 over 5 squared. Now 5 squared is 25, so that would be the same as 1 over 25. Okay. So whenever you've got a negative power, it's the same as 1 over the positive power. Okay, here's another example, 4 to the power of minus 3 would be the same as 1 over 4 cubed. And 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, so that's the same as 1 over 64. If the, it was, for instance, 8 to the power of minus 1, well, that would be 1 over 8 to the power of 1. Remember, 8 to the power of 1 would be 8, so you'd get 1 over 8. So if you've got a, um, a number to the negative 1, it'll be 1 over the number. So for instance, 10 to the minus 1 would be equal to 1 over 10. Okay, this also works for indice, or fractional indices. So also look at the video on fractional indices. If you had something like this, you had 25 to the power of minus a half, well that would be 1 over 25 to the power of a half. Now watch the video on fractional indices to see how to work these out. Whenever it's the power of a half, you square root it. So you're gonna get one over 20, the square root of 25, which would be five. So uh, 25 to the power of minus a half would be one fifth. Also it would work with um, other powers. So for instance, eight to the power of minus one, uh, one third would be one over eight to the power of a third. And the cube root of eight is two. So it'd be one over two. For these, remember, just watch the video on fractional indices. And our last example is if we had something like a thousand to the power of minus two thirds, well, that would be equal to one over a thousand to the power of two thirds. So making the power positive and put it on the denominator. And then you're going to do one over the cube root of a thousand squared. Now, the cube root of a thousand is ten, so you get one over. 10 squared, 1 over 10 squared would be 1 over 100. 